Hey kids, it's good to see you guys again. This fall, our Bible Adventures for Kids group is embarking on a fun study of the parables of Jesus. Now, as you probably already know, the par a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Now tonight, our parable comes from Matthew 13, verse 33, and is called the parable of the yeast. Let's read it together. He told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. In this parable, Jesus describes the kingdom of heaven, or the church, as yeast used in bread dough for baking bread. But we want to illustrate this point a different way, so I've asked my friend Julia to show you guys. Kids, I'm Julia, and welcome to the Art of Bible Baking. In today's episode, we will be covering the parable of the yeast. And in honor of this parable, we will be baking the humble yet delightful yeast bread. Now, the yeast is the star of today's show. And as you probably know uh, from your extensive baking experience, uh, yeast is a single-celled organism that is much akin to mushrooms. As you can see, this is a, a mixture of warm sugar water and yeast. You'll notice the, the frothy, foaming nature on top. That is carbon dioxide that's being produced as the yeast breaks down the starches uh, in the sugar. Now, the good Lord gives us the next set of instructions. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with 60 pounds of flour and it worked through the whole dough. So, we are going to take our mixture of yeast and, and sugar, and we are going to add about four cups of flour to it. So, I'm going to mix it in little by little. Now that we have our flour mixed in with our yeast, we will begin the process of kneading the dough. Now, there's no need to be intimidated by this process. All you need is the courage of your conviction, and it will turn out just beautifully. Now, some like to sling their dough about, but I prefer a nice gentle massage of the dough. You will do this process for about 10 minutes. And it's quite a laborious process being the yeast. A lot of effort goes into working your way into the dough. But you will be amazed by the transformation of this dough by the end of the process. Now, this is not a fast bread, if you will. This is not like uh, the Passover bread that was, that was unleavened. That's a much faster process. You don't have to knead the bread so vigorously or wait for the bread to rise like we will have to do. Okay, ah, that's looking about done. So now here is our dough and it's all kneaded and ready to rise. 
So, put the dough in a grease bowl and we'll take this bowl and put it in a nice, warm, draft-free place like uh, your proving drawer. And we're going to let it sit and rise for about an hour or until it has doubled in size. Uh, so you can take that opportunity to catch up on your Netflix or, or read a good book or maybe even read about the parable of the yeast. Uh, we'll be back. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked through all the dough. It's been one hour that we've allowed our bread to rise and we are going to take it out of the bowl and we are going to place it on the countertop and we will roll the dough into a large rectangle. Like so. Now, once we have our dough rolled out flat, we are going to very carefully and tightly roll it into a cylinder like so. Okay, now voila. Now we will place our rolled dough in a greased bread pan. And it's back to the drawer for this little one. What an accomplished woman. 60 pounds of flour. Make no mistake, that woman must have had biceps like tree trunks. We're back. Our dough has risen for an hour, and now it is time to put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes or until golden brown. The parable of the yeast is truly a, a beautiful metaphor for the church. Through time and, and hard work and patience, the church is able to influence the lives of, of individuals and to change their character over time. Let's try to be the yeast in the lives of our friends and our family. And the moment of trauma arrives. Ah, yes. Golden brown. And there you have it. Whether you're looking for the perfect pairing for Sunday dinner or looking for a superb metaphor for the kingdom of heaven, yeast bread is the perfect candidate. Bon appétit! Wasn't that delightful? I'm hungry, and I bet you are now too. So let's recap this parable and see what we can learn. The kingdom of heaven is the church, and it is compared to yeast. And well, what we know about yeast, we can take that and learn a few simple but profound lessons. Number one, the kingdom of heaven had small beginnings, but it will spread. You see, yeast is a tiny thing. It's a tiny organism in the bread, but it spreads throughout it and makes the dough rise. 
Think about it. The early church started with only 12 men, but those 12 men spread the church throughout the world, and it continues to spread today. Number two, the kingdom of heaven works over time to change our hearts and influence others with the gospel. Early church leaders were called those who had turned the world upside down. Their evangelism efforts had started to change the culture around them to abandon their pagan beliefs and to follow Jesus. So how can you allow the church to influence you, and how can you influence those around you and influence those in the church? Well, let's look at a few things. Number one, study the Bible and pray for God to plant his word in your heart. Number two, be active in church activities to give and receive encouragement. Number three, be a good example to others at school and at home. And number four, and this one's a biggie, tell someone about Jesus. We all need to hear about Jesus. Mahan 5, the city, yet your yight sign for adults that, that they see your dead deeds and do for your father in heaven. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any more questions or you want to talk about this parable more, ask your parents. I know they would be delighted to talk to you about Jesus and his parables. Before we leave, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before your throne. God, you are a great God and we love you and we are so very grateful for all the parables that you gave us in your word. Through these parables, we can learn about you, we can learn about your church, and we can learn about how you want us to live in this world. Father, just like the yeast is to the bread dough, help us to influence all of those around us by our lives, by our words, and by our actions. Help us to be the light in this world and the salt to the earth, Father. Thank you for Jesus, your Son, and it's in his name we pray. Amen. Thank you. I know. One more time. This is a mine. I have a sign. This is a yada mine. I have a sign. This is a yada mine. I have a sign. I have a sign. I have a sign. I have a sign. I have a sign.
us know. Ah, ah, ah.